Hi y'all. So today we are going to see our statistics one in week one of our IATM qualifier exam. This is the basic concepts. In this we will be dealing with all the introduction of the statistics. What is statistics and how we are going to do all that. So first let us go ahead. What is the program? How we have uh, planned for this class now. The main thing which we will be seeing on um, in this uh, video is we will be seeing the introduction of the statistics. What is it statistics and not? What are the different types of branches of statistics? Types of statistics and purpose of statistical analysis. Now, what is statistics? It is the art of learning from data. So, whenever a data is given, after watching a data, you will be seeing yes, you can draw some inference or you can see a descriptive thing. What is this? How we have got the values and all. So, it is the art of learning from data. Now, it is also concerned with the collection of data, the subsequent uh, description of their analysis, which often leads to the drawing of conclusions. So, concerned with the collection of data means, where, if we go to some shopping mall or some uh, states and all, in a state, now we want to color, you want to know how many persons are, uh, how many persons are diabetic. So for that purpose, what you will be doing, you will be doing a house to house survey or the survey in which you will be collecting the data means you will be knowing how many are diabetic, how many are non-diabetic. You will be collection that is called the collection of data and after getting this particular data, we will be, this, we will be seeing the description whether how many are diabetic, how many are non-diabetic, we will be drawing our conclusions and in the end, we will be saying like yes, in this Kerala state. We are having 80% diabetic and 20% are non-diabetic. Out of this 80% of diabetic, in that 20% means 20% of the 80% are having the diastolic pressure and diabetic. So in that, what is that? That is called as a drawing of the conclusions. Next. Next is the major branches of statistics. What are those? Those are descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. So, what is statistics? So, statistics uh, runs around the statistics subject itself is completely bounded with an experiment, observation, discrete inference, all this. We will be having parameters, survey, analysis, planning, research and all. So, this is called about the statistics. This is all, these are all the things which are involved in statistics. Now, let us see what is a descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics is a part of the statistics that is concerned with the description and summarization of the data. So see here, we could see that uh, the picture here defines us what is a descriptive statistics. Now we have taken some data, we have seen that it's a conical type, like what is the summarization, if you are unimodal, bimodal, multimodal and all. So we could see mean, median and mode, all these things comes under the descriptive statistics. So this is called as the descriptive statistics all the things you see over here this one this one will be showing us the first graph they are showing us some values 0, 0.00 thing and the sale price of the company of any company so it is showing us the ups and downs how they are moving or not in the second one also we are having the same thing so in this way we will be seeing after looking the picture we will be knowing what is a descriptive statistics? Next one is inferential statistics. The part of statistics concerned with the drawing of conclusions from data is called inferential statistics. So look here in this inferential statistics, we could see that there is a population. You can see in further slides what is population and sample. Population is nothing but a huge number. Huge number suppose like a small example how we have taken before diabetic people and non diabetic people and not. like in a state let us take the state to be some telangana in that state whatever the state not only telangana any state in a state if you want to do some survey the population of the state means the all the persons living in that population all the persons who are living in that particular state come under the population now you want to see the illiteracy. Suppose you want to check the literacy. Then taking the population into consideration, then collecting this data, taking out the literate persons out of the population means the sample. What is the sample consisting of? 
it is consisting of the persons who are literate so we have taken the literate persons so that sample means a big population out of a big number we are taking a part is called as a sample so what is inferential statistics it is all every way every time dependent on the population and the sample population out of the population we took a sample and this sample we got we took the inference we we have seen the we have seen the work or we have drawn some inference on the sample and we substitute to the population this is called as inferential statistics so once again i will repeat whenever there is a population like suppose a state or a country you can take anything suppose in a state we have take the people living in the state will become the population in that population we want to see the literacy levels or the same diabetic levels or whatever the parameter that particular parameter you want to see how many parameter or how, how that parameter is there so what you will be doing you will just take a group of people out of the population you will just do your survey and based on the inference you got on this sample we will be trying to tell about the population so this is you will be drawing a characteristic see about the population given so this is how the inferential statistics will work so we have seen just now i have told you population and sample so this is a clear example of the population and a sample what is a population the total collection of all the elements that we are interested in it is called a population a subgroup of the population that will be studied in detail is called a sample so see here this is a population i have taken like a state or uh, like a state and out of this population i have selected few people see i could i have drawn a circle there it means i have taken three so based upon the three observations or observation or inferences which i got from this three i'll be trying to draw a characteristic of the entire population so this is called as a inferential statistics so what are the main purpose of the uh, statistical analysis why do we do st analysis or, or statistical analysis on a particular data why we do it because to examine and explore what to examine and explore means yes diabetic or diastolic pressures and all what do you do you will just try to examine how many persons are uh, having diabetes or how many persons are having the blood pressure and all then we will be drawing the Inf we will be taking the information and they are drawing the conclusion we will be taking the conclusion so that is why the purpose of the stat that is what is the purpose of the statistical analysis now we have this in this statistical analysis also we have descriptive statistical analysis and inferential statistical analysis in descriptive statistical analysis we do it in the use of the graphs and all in the inferential statistical analysis we take it using the populations and the samples so this is how we are going to do with the in statistics these are the basic concepts in the statistics which we will be watching so the major branches are given introduction is given and all so again i would like to repeat the descriptive statistics and inferential statistics descriptive statistics is completely based upon the data which we have collected and inferential statistics is based upon the population and the sample so this this is how our entire statistics will be moving around to get the uh, prescribed or required in uh, analysis so this is what is the population sample and these are the purposes why we do the nl the statistical analysis both in descriptive and inferential so that's all for today's class thank you